Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about few other kinds of pronoun. We have already completed personal pronoun, reflexive pronoun and emphasizing pronoun. So let us understand about other different kinds of pronouns. Demonstrative pronoun. Now, a demonstrative pronoun is used to point out people or thing which it refers to. Means it is basically used to point out the people and things. Few demonstrative pronouns you can see in this picture are this, that, these and those. Now you already know the concept of this, that, these and those. This is used for a singular noun which is close to us. That is used for a singular noun that is far away from us. And uh, these is used for plural forms of noun that is close to us. And those are used for plural forms of noun. Those are far away from us. So generally used demonstrative pronouns are these, those, this and that. These are used to point out at something, some person or some people or some things. Let us see the example. This is a large house. Now there is a difference between demonstrative adjective and pronoun. We will learn it later on. So just go through the examples. This is a large house. Now this is a large house. When I am saying that this is a large house, it means that actually I am pointing out, right? So I am pointing out a house and saying that this is a large house. Next, that is my cricket kit. You are pointing out at your cricket kit which is kept far away and saying that that is my cricket kit. Next comes these are my books. Now you are not talking about books. See, it is in plural form of the noun books. So we have used these because the books maybe it is kept near. Okay, it is kept nearby. Now those are my toys. Again, we are talking about toys. Okay, so we have used this those okay so this that these and those these are known as demonstrative pronoun as because they are used to point out at some people or thing interrogative pronoun now you are very much much aware with the word interrogative interrogative means to ask question okay so Question asking words are sometimes used as a pronoun also. Okay. Now let us see the example. And it asks a question. What is your name? Okay. What is your name? Which is your book? Which is your house? Now children, there is a difference between again interrogative pronoun and interrogative adjective. In interrogative adjective, immediately after this question word, suppose what? We will have one noun, but here we will not have any noun immediately after the question word. What is your name? Which is your book or which is your house? You are asking questions. Okay. You are replacing a noun with you are replacing a noun. So that is the reason this is known as pronouns. Relative pronouns. What do you mean by relative pronouns? So, a relative pronoun relates a noun to a group of word that follows. Now, in a very simple language, relative pronouns are used to join two sentences. Okay. It is called relative pronoun. Relative means what? Relate. To relate. Now, what is relate? To connect. So, it connects two sentences. Okay. It is called relative pronoun because it relates to the word that its relative clause modifies. Now, for example, you can see the gardener chased the children, okay, who were plucking flowers. Now, if I will divide the sentence into two, we will get two sentences here. First is the gardener chased the children, all right? And second, they were plucking flowers. If we talk like this, they were plucking flowers. So, we have connected this two sentence using one word that is who. And this is known as relative pronoun, okay? Example next, here are the colors that you wanted. Means, these are the colors that you wanted. So, again, I am joining these two sentences with the help of a relative pronoun. 
the boy who is wearing black shirt is my friend now we can say like that the boy is wearing blue shirt if we will break the sentence into two and he is my friend okay so we have joined these two sentences we have joined these two sentences using the word who okay using the word who we have joined these two sentences and made it one the boy who is wearing blue shirt is my friend okay i hope you will not have any problem here no no now let us understand uh, look at this picture children relative pronouns we have talked about different kinds of relative pronouns okay now these are few important relative pronouns and the use is mentioned over here who now who is used to refer to people which which is used to refer to animal and object when we have option that which okay whose it refers to possession that again it refers to people and animal where it refers to places when it refers to time so these are few important relative pronouns you have to understand the use of this pronouns okay and relative pronouns are used to join two sentences next is distributive pronoun the word distributive it itself means to distribute something right so distributive pronouns refers to persons or things one at a time okay it is referring to a person or people or things one at a time now this pronoun is used to indicate all the members of representative group now a group is there okay and this pronoun is used to indicate all the members let us see this uh, figure picture distributive pronouns now distributive pronouns are often followed by of you or of them both of you okay each of you either of you okay if it is singular and them if it is plural so see the example each one of you will be awarded for your honesty okay i am talking about every one of you you are a group of suppose 48 students 42 students and i am talking about each one of you next one every one of you must finish your work on time i am talking to whole class okay but i am saying this thing to individual student that every one of you must finish your work all of you are performing very well suppose you all are 15 students in the class and i am saying that all of you are performing very well that means what i am talking i am saying to each one of you so har kisi ko bol rahe so it will be distributive pronoun either of you can help me in distributing notebooks now we know the concept of either either means out of to anyone okay and neither means out of to no one all right so this is all about distributive pronouns next comes indefinite pronouns what is meant by indefinite pronoun indefinite pronoun refers to person or things in general rather than to a specific person or thing now indefinite pronoun means we talk about people in general i if i want to scold you and collectively i will scold right for example nobody came to help me uh let us see this example one everybody know the truth i am not mentioning one particularly to anyone rather i am saying to, in a general sense okay hum usko kisi particular person ko nahi bata ke hum generally bol rahe ki aap sabko pata hai when i am saying aap sabko uh, truth pata hai that means what every one of you knows the truth now next many have expressed their views suppose 10 students are there out of 10 5 has expressed their views i am not taking out their i am not taking their name i am not calling out their name that who has expressed their views but i am saying in general that many of you have expressed your views nobody came to help me again nobody means koi nahi aaya if i would have taken their name that wo nahi aaya wo nahi aaya that is a different thing right but i am saying in a general sense nobody came okay next somebody knocked at the door kisi ne darwaza knock kiya hai i am not saying that who knocked the door exactly i am saying that somebody has knocked the door 
so indefinite pronoun few examples are someone somebody something somewhere everyone everybody everything and everywhere possessive pronoun now possessive pronoun is a word or pronoun that is used to express ownership or possession ki particular uh, thing belongs to which person it uh, indicates that these books are his i am talking about whose books are these these books are his uska hai now we know very clearly children that in possessive pronoun we use s okay theirs yours its ours but not apostrophe s only s and we as we know that his h i s it is already ending with s hai na his ka spelling to h i s hota hai so we can't use h i s s that will be wrong so we use his these book are his these books are his okay now the bag is yours i'm talking about this particular bag that it belongs to you it is yours now you can see few possessive pronouns in this picture and examples in a form of sentences yours mine's theirs her whose its ours my yours his their and yours okay so these are possessive pronouns so i hope you all have understood this thank you for watching and learn until you get it right